Hey guys, what's up? This is Nainia from Tech Barrack and today we are going to do a mobile review on the Samsung Galaxy S2. I have just uh, disassembled the phone and uh, in front of you this is the main phone. This is the back cover and this is the battery of the phone. So let's talk about its design. Starting with its back cover. Let me just auto focus. It's made up of some uh, uh, plastic material which is not so good quality or awesome quality like the iPhone's back. And uh, so it's just okay quality and it's made up of plastic. You can see that. And there's this hole, hole is for the camera, LED flash and the uh, 8 megapixel camera which will which we will cover in the phone and uh, now let's talk about the design and the phone main phone uh, this is the phone and it's uh, got a three, uh, 2 megapixel VGA camera in the front and uh, it's got two touch sensitive buttons over here on the left and right uh, it's almost invisible it uh, you can only see it when you touch it uh, there's some little light that comes backlight which comes on the button so that time only we can see it I'll uh, show that also later on and this is the middle button just like the iPhone 4's or any any iPhone you can say and uh, on the side uh, we have the power button and uh, over here we have the volume up and down button and the, at the back we've got a 8 megapixel uh, camera with a LED flash and a SIM card slot, a micro SD slot, the battery slot and uh, this is the place, this place uh, from where the sound comes uh, out that's the sound put, sound output uh, part point you can say and this is the 3.5 mm headphone jack on the top of the phone and uh, a USB uh, micro USB connector which can be used to connect to your PC or charge the phone and uh, now let's uh, just switch on the phone let's talk about the battery before switching on the phone and the battery is 1650 milliamp uh, milli milliamps and it claims to give 7 uh, 710 hours of standby on 2G 610 hours of standby on 3 3G and it also claims to give a talk time of uh, 18 hours 20 minutes on 2G and 8 hours 40 minutes on 3G and uh, a good thing about this phone is it's got a very sleek design and uh, it just weighs 116 grams so let's just uh, boot up the phone now okay so now booting up the phone okay so it's booting up while it boots up, let's talk about its screen, uh, that's the display. It's got a Gorilla Glass and a 4.3 inch screen right from uh, here to here, that's 4.3 inch. And it's got a screen resolution of 480 by 800 megapixels. And uh, it uh, also has, uh, it basically means that it has 216 uh, pixels per inch approximately. And uh, it's uh, talking about its sensors now. It's got a gyro sensor, accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor and a compass sensor. Now talking about the memory. It uh, comes with an internal memory of 16 GB or 32 GB. And you can even expand it because it allows a micro USB slot. So, so uh, micro SD slot and uh, this micro SD slot can be expanded till 32 GB. So you can have up to 64 GB on your phone uh, including internal and external. And uh, now uh, talking about the CPU, it's got a dual core 1.2 GHz uh, Cortex A9 processor and a 1 GB RAM. So that's really awesome configuration for a mobile phone. And you can see it's working flawlessly even when I'm playing, uh, having a live wallpaper uh, as a background. And it works flawlessly, the uh, scrolling is smooth and even the scrolling in the application uh, menu is again very smooth. So this is all because of the 1 GB RAM and the dual core inside the phone and uh, there are some cool new features which I just noticed in the Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's talk about them and uh, first is the widget, sec uh, widget section. Uh, it's got this new 3D look when uh, you want to add a widget or you want to add a folder or you want to add a sh shortcut or a wallpaper, this new screen. The screen uh, becomes smaller and there's some 3D look 
uh, which it uh, which it has given. If I shift to different screen, you can see it. There's a new 3D look that uh, that has come to the Samsung Galaxy S2. And in the widget section, uh, if I click on it, there's this uh, there, there's this new uh, look for the widgets section too. And as you can see, I can uh, just scroll between the widgets, and it is uh, really smooth. And it's a new 3D look that they have given once again. I'm telling you. So let's add one of the widgets, and I can just arrange it the way I want on the screen. Uh, so I've just arranged it, and I just click on back, and there you go. The widget is on. The other uh, uh, feature of Samsung Galaxy S2 is the folder section. In the folder section, you guys can see uh, now it also shows the icons of the application that is there on the phone, and it also shows the gives the number of applications there inside the folder. Just auto focus, yeah. Uh, that you can see that it's showing me two. Uh, that basically means there are two applications, and it's showing me the um, icons also of the application that are there inside that folder. The third feature that I noticed is that now this phone can also play full HD 1080p videos, which I transfer directly into the phone. There's this uh, video of my which uh, mine which I just transferred, and it plays it flawlessly without hanging. Then select folders. I'll just decrease and, the volume. Uh, then click on new folder. You can see it's working flawlessly and giving me a uh, good resolution in the video itself. And it's a full HD video running at 30 frames per second on a mobile phone. That's a Samsung Galaxy S2. So this uh, feature is really awesome. So I can directly transfer full HD movies, which are in a MPEG4 format or any other format. I can use another software, but if MPEG4, much better because it will, it will play directly into the Android player, video player, and it works flawlessly. So that was the video uh, section. And uh, now another feature that I have noticed is the motions feature uh, Samsung has got some new motion feature you can just activate it by going into settings and in settings you need to just go to motion and in motion you just need to activate it on the top you can see that uh, just activate it and there are some cool features like uh, if I go into the browser and if I want to just give me a second yeah if I want to uh, zoom on a page, let's say I search for something. Let me go to some website first. Give me a second. I'm just visiting our website. That's techbarrack.com. Let me go to the more web version. And uh, once I just open, it opens the web version. Yeah. And now if I want to zoom on any uh, part of the screen, uh, what I have to do is just tap on the screen and do till the screen like that. I don't know why it's not happening. Should be happening. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, that's the motion uh, feature that they have got. And I can uh, zoom out by just uh, getting the phone towards me. And that was one feature. That's the motion thing. And there are some more features like if I want to switch or mute, put the phone to mute, I just need to turn it down like that when a call is coming. So that's the motion part. And the graphics part, uh, the phone delivers great graphics um, because definitely it's got a dual core and 1GB RAM and that's why it's delivering awesome graphics. I'll just uh, show you one of the games which I just recently downloaded from the Android market. This is Modern Combat 2 and it's... Uh, an HD game the sound is off this is just loading let me just put on the sound it delivers amazing graphics and it plays all these HD games at uh, amazing uh, frames per second rate you can say the graphics that it delivers is really amazing and the games work flawlessly that's the best part just continuing the game from where I started Survival. 
okay so you guys can see it's really amazing the way it is working it's completely flawless it's not hanging and it's delivering good graphics also so that's what is exactly that i wanted to show you about this graphics part it uh, really plays these uh, hd games uh, very well and delivers good graphics and uh, that was the graphics section now going on to the browser section the browsing is really amazing once again let me just zoom in okay so browser sec uh, browser uh, performance is really good it loads up pages uh, much faster uh, and uh, it also is easy to browse because of this uh, 4.3 inch screen I can actually zoom in and zoom out much easily I don't know what ha just happened I just went into into the bookmarks I suppose okay yeah so let me just go to some website let me just search google okay let's go to a mobile website uh, sorry a full web website des desktop web website of uh, let's go to news24online.com let's visit some other website i don't know there's some problem with this website i suppose let's visit my website at me that's techbarrack.com okay it loads up pretty fast because it's the mobile version and pretty small let's go to the normal web version okay so you can see it loads up the website really very fast and uh, i can actually zoom in and uh, do much uh, better browsing because of this huge screen that told you and this uh, web browsing part is really amazing uh, it's really a good uh, phone uh, for calling playing games and uh, even for web browsing so it's uh, i think the perfect phone you can say because of the i think a good screen size after using for it for a while and i found it really amazing and uh, this phone is really good uh, at performance also and uh, the last part that was the browser part that uh, as i showed you that it was delivering good uh, speed at uh, loading up pages and uh, now the final part is the sound part and uh, it delivers good sound also i've got some rockstar songs on my uh, samsung galaxy s2 i'll just play one of them the quality of the sound that it's playing is really good it does not uh, crack the sound and uh, the quality that, that it delivers it's uh, really amazing you can just check that out so that was the sound part uh, and uh, that's basically it with this phone and this phone costs around 28,500 rupees or INR you can say that's basically it with this uh, mobile review guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.